What is up guys, C-Money here. Welcome back to another pack opening video. Today, we are continuing on with our Sword and Shield Hidden Fate stuff. We're doing two Hidden Fates tins. Uh, I've already went ahead and opened them uh, to save a little time. I will give out the codes for the tins and show you the promo cards uh, just so we get to the packs. Um, and then we're going to do five Sword and Shield packs. Um, I am kind of working my way through the rest of this booster box that I have from the Sword and Shield stuff. Uh, and so obviously continuing with our Hidden Fates stuff. So uh, we are going to have some new products coming this week. Hopefully we will change things up a tiny bit with some of the videos. But uh, we are opening up two Hidden Fates tins. So leaning a little bit more on that. Um, and we'll see. Uh, and honestly man like we're trying to get that shiny Charizard. So uh, we're going to keep cracking the Hidden Fates until uh, we do pull that thing. So uh, we will keep on with that. So without further ado. Um, here are the two promo cards from the two tens, and uh, here are the codes for uh, both of those Gyarados GX Hidden Fates tens. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I keep grabbing Gyarados because that is apparently the one that has the highest chance for the shiny Charizard. Um, so we'll go ahead and crack our uh, two uh, promo cards over there. Um, so we do have uh, more Hidden Fates, a little bit more. We have eight Hidden Fates packs and five... Um, sword and shield so we'll open up a couple hidden fates then move over to some of the sword and shield try to even it out a little bit before we start going back and forth so this is hidden fates um we started all the sword and shield stuff um rp fairy energy sad day uh, we jumped hard into the sword and shield and we had some crazy pulls last week i hope your first week of a sword and shield release was as fun as mine uh, I am searching for those gold cards. We get a reverse hollow jinx and an electrode to kick things off with this opening. Uh, we'll do one more hidden fades and then start jumping into the sword and shield. Let's see, so we'll try to even things out a little bit since we have a few more hidden fades packs. Then we do uh, the sword and shield. Um, sword and shield's awesome. I love the set. I love the gold cards. I love the hyper rares. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, something I did want to talk to you guys that I can't believe I failed to mention in last week's video. Um, it's in all the descriptions of last week's videos, but we have merch now. There is official C Money merch. Uh, I am partnered with an organization, an awesome organization called Not So Pro, and a shiny Lucario. That's a beautiful shiny. I love. I have the four art of this, and I love the four. Shiny Lucario is fantastic and a holographic Misty's Water Command. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sleeve up the shiny Lucario. That's a good start. Um, I am partnered with an organization called Not So Pro Gaming now. Um, I've uh, signed a little agreement with them. Uh, and I've joined one of their Smite teams. I play competitive Smite on the side. I know uh, that's something that probably a lot of people don't know, even though what Smite is. It's a MOBA, kind of like League of Legends. Um, I do. There are some older of my Smite competitive videos on the channel if you're interested in that at all. But uh, we've kind of switched into the pack opening stuff on this channel now. Um, however, uh, I do play for one of their Smite teams, and uh, I'm a streamer for them, and they have hooked me up with the merch, man. Um, so we do have some awesome C Money merch. We've got hoodies, we've got shirts, we've got women's tees, we've got baseball shirts, we've got hats, we've got some cool hats, man. Um, with the C Money logo on it. So go check those out in the description below. Um, there's some cool C Money merch for you if you are interested at all. No pressure whatsoever. Um, it does support me, it supports the org uh, both. So uh, if you are interested in any C Money merch, it is down below. And uh, like I said, that's my awesome partnership with Not So Pro Gaming. I'm really enjoying it so far. I really like those guys. Great bunch of dudes over at ksp so if you see any of my kind of ksp related stuff uh that's kind of what that is uh, i'm not going to push the merch too hard but it is available guzma this card is fantastic we get the full art guzma out of hidden fates this is a fantastic card that i had not pulled yet Man, I think this is worth a decent bit too. I could be wrong. The value should flash up on the screen. What an awesome pull. The full art Guzma. I had not pulled this card yet, so that is amazing. Man, that's a cool card. It's your boy Guzma. Man, that is cool. We will gladly take that. I believe this is a very playable card. Um, very. It's been around for like all the uh, Sun and Moon series. 
Uh, so we will gladly take the full art Guzma card. That is super cool. Gladly take that. Um, so, man, that's exciting. That's a very exciting pool. That is out of, that's out of Hidden Fates, right? Yeah, yeah, Hidden Fates. Okay, I was making sure I wasn't crazy. So we do pull the full art Guzma. That's a super cool card. One that I had not pulled yet. So uh, we will gladly take that. But yeah, I won't harp on the merch at all. Like, I don't. I'm not going to be a content creator that sits here and just tries to sell you on merch. So uh, I did want to go ahead and mention it. And that may be uh, one of the last times you do hear me uh, mention the merch. So I don't want to push it too hard. But it will always be in the description below my videos if you are interested at all in any of that. Uh, reverse Hollow Hop and a Nine Tails. Again, this is one of my favorite, probably my favorite, like non ultra rare or anything card art. That's a beautiful Nine Tails card. Um, so anyway, that's that, um, and yeah, so if you're interested in any of that, just, it's all below, it will be for a while. Uh, so, the Full Art Guzma is a fantastic card to pull that's opening. Uh, well, it's your boy, man, that's a cool one. So, uh, we're back to the Hidden Fates, we got a Water Energy, a Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Misty's Determination, Jinx, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Star you Ekans, Caterpie is the reverse hollow, and a ride to GX. So uh, a pretty common ultra rare, only worth a dollar or two. Uh, but it is an ultra rare, and we will take the hit for sure. Any cash, chill out. My dog's over here going nuts. What else is new? I feel like I always mention my dog going nuts in almost every single one of my videos. Uh, if you are new here, I'd love for you to subscribe, hit that like button, uh, hit that bell for videos. Uh, my name is Colin. I also go by C Money, and I'm uploading videos for you of uh, hopefully rare Pokemon cards uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays is the current upload schedule. And I would love for you guys to join me along this ride, uh, opening up some awesome and rare Pokemon cards together. We got a Muna, a Roselia. We are hard in Sword and Shield and Hidden Fates right now, but we're kind of trying to do a little bit of everything. And we get a holographic Sandaconda, one that I think we've pulled a couple times now, but still a very cool card. And we do get a Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, so nothing crazy there. Uh, so we are sitting at four Hidden Fates and two Sword and Shield. So let's open up two Hidden Fates to kind of bridge the gap here. Even these out a little bit. So these were kind of a weird, because I'm doing two tens and five sword and shield packs. We've got a decent chunk of sword and shield packs left uh, over here. Here, I'll show you kind of our box. Like we've got a decent little chunk left out of this booster box. Um, we should be finishing up this box for sure this week at some point. Uh, and I've still got a little chunk of that, at least one ten, maybe more of hidden fates left. So uh, we've got, uh, Quite a bit of stuff left, but we will probably be finishing up that uh, Sword and Shield box this week for sure. Uh, shiny Type Knoll, a shiny that I have not pulled yet. That is a super cool shiny card. And a Starmie GX Ultra Rare, one that we've pulled a thousand times, only worth a couple dollars. I'm more interested in this Shiny Type Knoll. I had not pulled that shiny yet, so that is a super cool card. And I am uh, all down for that. I said we're getting really close to being done with pulling like all the shinies and stuff really 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 close um i said i mean we've opened up so many packs like we um of hidden fates like the set's almost complete um there isn't a whole lot we haven't pulled yet we haven't pulled the cynthia uh we haven't pulled the shiny mewtwo and obviously the shiny charizard um we're missing a couple, uh, like, Golden, Tapu, Coco, and Bulu. So, I guess we are. There's a handful of the rare cards that we haven't pulled, which is kind of nutty when you just think about how many packs we've opened. I said, I'm pretty sure we're near 1,000, if not at 1,000 packs already. So, uh, darn, like, we're close if we're, uh, we're very close if we're not at 1,000 yet. So, it's kind of nuts that we haven't pulled, uh, there's still a ton of stuff we haven't pulled yet, but... That is the nature of the beast. We got a holographics Brock training and a reverse hollow graveler there. So we're down to two of each left. So let's jump back into a little sword and shield action. Hey, calm down, buddy. I 
I know. You you want to say hi to everyone? Come here. Say hi to everyone. Come on. Come on. Ah, ah, okay, okay, he's barking. We're not going to ah. say that. You hear him. Okay, okay. It's okay, buddy. Hey, easy, easy. All right. We're good. Corgis, man. They're nuts. Corgis are nuts. I was going to let him jump up and say hi, but he's getting way too hyper. I'm scared he's going to jump up here and hit the keyboard or, like, tear up the cards or something. Uh, Y'all have met Cash before, though, if you've been around here. Uh, he is my little Corgi. Uh, I love him very dearly. He's awesome. Uh, if you are a sub of mine on Twitch, I've got a Cash the Corgi emote. And one of my, like, little... Uh, rewards for like the viewer point things is a cash cam where I will uh, pull him in my lap and go full screen so everyone can check out cash for a little bit. Uh, that's been a big hit on my uh, Twitch channel actually. And the cash emote is everyone's favorite emote now uh, that is on my channel. So uh, go check me out on Twitch if you want some more cash and uh, access to your very own cash cam. Twitch.tv slash CMoneyKSP. Um, not a ton. I do do occasional Pokemon streams. I definitely stream the games and stuff. I do a shiny lock. Um, I've done quite a, a bit of battling on stream. But I haven't done it in a while. I need to get back into it. I've been focused on my like my Smite League and stuff. Um, but I do do some po Pokemon content. But mostly it's different content over there than on YouTube. And boy, I hate this card so much. I forget. You know what? I hate that card. <laughs> you can eat that card, Cash. You have my permission to eat that card. Because I hate Blaine's last stand so much. Are you legit eating the card? He's legit eating the card. <laughs> Here, hold on, buddy. I don't want to get sick. <laughs> he ate the card. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good boy, Cash. Good boy. Uh, uh, we are in our last sword, Jill, but sorry, I'm just laughing that I threw it. He actually went and ate it. I hate Blaine's last stands. That's pretty funny. Why did my camera get all, like, blown out all of a sudden? What in the world? Quick cut. All right, we are back. I'm not really sure what happened there. I had to, like, unplug my camera and stuff. It got, like, super blown out. Um, the picture just like got really jank all of a sudden. That's very strange. I am working on upgrading the camera situation for the pack cam. That is something I'm uh, definitely working on right now. And exploring options for you guys to make uh, the camera on the cards a little bit better quality here. Uh, so that will hopefully be something that's coming soon for you guys. Groupie, clob a puss, and a lantern. So uh, sorry, I'm a little disoriented now because that took a little bit to fix, actually. Um, so I ended up having to like re, like unplug it, plug it back in, and reconfigure some settings. That was really weird. Uh, but we are working on uh, this. Is our last pack? Let's hope we can get some last pack magic. Let's make up for the camera being jank um, with some last pack magic here. So I am working on a. Uh, upgrading the camera situation for you guys that will hopefully be happening fairly soon um there is your code but uh for now let's focus on this last pack here we need uh, uh, this card right here we need you to be something awesome so can we do this we got a metapod we got a giovanni's exile koga's trap coughing cubone bone bone geodude slowpoke Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Caterpie, and a Mewtwo GX Ultra Rare, only worth a couple dollars. I do believe we pulled this in the last video as well from yesterday, but that is okay because we got ourselves a Full Art Guzma trainer card, which is an awesome pull, one that I'm super happy about and one that I had not pulled yet. We got some decent pulls today, for sure. All of our, all of our pulls are from Hidden Fates. We did not get any pulls whatsoever from sword and shield so our sword and shield luck has slowed down a little bit um actually pretty significantly we started off sword and shield so strong sorry i'm trying to dig through i accidentally anyway uh we started out so strong with sword and shield and then the last couple videos our luck has definitely slowed down 
Um, but we, nonetheless, we get full art Guzma trainer supporter card, which is absolutely awesome. We have Starmie GX, Shiny Type Null, which was a shiny I had not pulled before, a Lucario Shiny, um, and a Raichu GX Ultra Rare, and a Mewtwo GX Ultra Rare. So this is definitely the pool of the day right here is this uh, full art Guzma. So that's super exciting. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this uh, uh, video, and I hope you've enjoyed the Sword and Shield and Hidden Fate stuff. Uh, we are going to try to get some different product and stuff going here. We will be finishing off the Sword and Shield booster box this week. I need to kind of decide what direction I want to move forward with the videos and stuff with uh, the stuff I've got. I've still got some Hidden Fate, some Sword and Shield. We might get some Cosmic Eclipse in here, um, mix things up a little bit. We'll see. Um, we will uh, play with uh, the stock that we have, and I will uh, uh, just... See what we come up with. So anyway, if you are new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, the bell, and uh, comment below what your favorite Sword and Shield card is that you've pulled up to this point. We're officially a week out from release, and uh, a lot of people are pulling some gold, including myself. Here, I'm going to show this off real quick. Um, spoilers alert a little bit here, but um, this card, man... I've pulled some gold myself, and I hope you guys have to. These were pulls from, like, my big opening um, this earlier this week, or I guess late last week. Um, so I've pulled some gold myself, and the textures and stuff are just insane. So uh, let me know if you've pulled some gold yourself, especially that Zossian card. Uh, comment that below, and I'll uh, catch you guys on the next video. Later. Later.